you may have heard that a key to successful investing is to buy low and sell high. Momentum investors try to buy high and sell higher. In its simplest form, momentum investors buy stocks that have performed well recently and sell those that have performed poorly. That may sound backward, but a 1993 study published in the Journal of Finance showed that the performance of a stock over a 3 to 12 month time frame typically predicted how the stock would perform over the following 3 to 12 months. The paper found that an investor using a momentum-based system would have produced returns substantially better than the overall U.S. market between 1965 and 1989. So far, nobody has figured out exactly why momentum investing works. Some theorize that it capitalizes on the human tendency to follow the herd. Investors see that other investors are buying a stock, so they buy it too. In theory, if you see the herd's moves early enough, you can benefit. Momentum investing can be risky, however. If the herd changes direction, you can get trampled. To use another metaphor, momentum investing is a bit like surfing. Investors look for a wave as it develops, then try to get off before it crashes. To do that, momentum investors pore over stock charts, looking for patterns that may signal developing trends. They also look for signs a trend might be weakening, so that they can get out before the herd turns. To the uninitiated, those charts and patterns can be inscrutable. But it's possible to use a momentum strategy without poring over stock charts. Most major investment companies offer momentum-focused mutual funds or exchange-traded funds. There is even an index, the MSCI USA Momentum Index, that some investment companies use as the basis for momentum-based index funds. As with any investment approach, it's important to understand the risks before investing your money. Consider talking to a trusted financial advisor to see whether momentum investing fits your investment strategy and supports your long-term financial goals.